evaluate the square root of 25. So first note that if you take five and you square it, you're going to get 25. And so this actually means that five is a square root of 25. So five is a square root of 25. However, if you take negative five and you square it, you also get 25. And so again, this means that negative five is a square root of 25. So 25 has two square roots, five and negative five. So which one is it? Well, it's five, right? it's five. Uh, so whenever you see this symbol um, and you see a number here, the answer is the non-negative square root. And I say non-negative because of the special case where if you take the square root of zero, you get zero. So whenever you have a positive number here and you see the symbol, you want the positive square root, okay? So the positive square root of 25 is five. Now, 25 does have two square roots, five and negative five, and that is really important. Um, but in this example, in this problem, whenever you see this symbol, you just want the positive one, okay? I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.